So I got this uh, Bluetooth OBD2 uh, connector device that because uh, I got a few vehicles scan the engine lights on and see what the codes are and uh, I was looking for some and these little devices are really cheap they pair with the smartphone uh, tablet or laptop and when I'm saying cheap I mean you get these for like less than ten dollars I actually bought two of them because I was unsure which ones would work so I got this other Elm 327 which I made a video about too if you want to see that one but I also got this one and I'm gonna test it out today it, it's from uh, VGate. It's called VGate Scan, and uh, I'll put links in the description of this video and everything. But I'm gonna go through and see how well it works on a vehicle that uh, I need to troubleshoot the engine light on. And this is what it came with. It came with this. It came with this disc, which I'm assuming has got the the phone app and uh, software for for a computer, like a laptop or something. So I'm going to pop in the disc and see what's on it really quick. So this is what it came with on the on the CD. It's got some PC software and it's got phone software. Uh, I'm going to be using it on a PC on a on a phone on a on an Android phone, but this is what uh it's got a bunch of PC software on there which would be cool for like a laptop. It's got Bluetooth. And uh the phone system software, it's got Android, iOS, and Symbian. I'm going to be using Android and uh, I've heard I've used this Torque before with that other with that other one so I'll probably be using it. It's got this uh, version 1.8.16 uh, although I'm, I might try out one of these other ones that says demo on that one so I don't know. And it looks like it's got instructions for how to set it up which I'm sure is, is basically you know you could copy it. You, you can download these from the App Store too. You don't have to uh, copy it from this disc but um, it it's basically called torque is the app the one thing is is when you when you pair it it's just remember the password one two three four you you I installed mine by hooking it up to a micro USB drive and just copying it straight over and then installing it straight on my phone and I'm gonna be using a Galaxy S4 to test this out so uh, I'm gonna switch over to a car that I need to troubleshoot and see how well it works all right, so here it is, and I'm in a 2004 Passat, and it has an engine light on it. It's not running right now, but it has an engine light come on. So, uh, you know, to find out why, I need to plug into the OBD2 connector, which is uh, right there, if you can see it. I'm going to plug in this device. I plugged it in, uh, the red light came on, so showing power. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my torque app. If you need to pair it to a, you need to pair it to a Bluetooth, your phone to there, and the password is just one, two, three, four, and that's basically it. And then you start up uh, this, this torque app. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the engine key to on. You don't need to turn the car on, but you just you need to put it to on position. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to fault codes, and then I'm gonna tap the screen for it to start scanning. So I'll fast forward it. All right, so I'm back, and uh, it came up with the with the problem, you know, which is the powertrain came up with the error code P2181, powertrain cooling system performance. So you know, like might be the thermostat or something. I have to look more into that code. And if you click on it, you could do a, you could either you can it'll automatically look up uh, look it up on the web, you know, or if you wanted to. But uh, this also this app. You could also do uh, real time, just to give you an idea. Let's start this up.
So as you can see, this app also has rev, speed, coolant temperature, vacuum, throttle, accelerator. So you could do a lot more than just check air codes with this, which is pretty awesome. One thing about this little adapter, though, is it, it does seem to disconnect sometimes. It uh, compared to the other one, which seemed to stay connected all the time. This one, once or twice while I've been doing this, it, it disconnect and took it a minute to reconnect. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not, but it does seem to work. Another cool thing about it is also it has a port for the. It has laptop for it too, so you can connect to a laptop and has laptop software for like a PC. So, uh, I don't know, it's pretty cool. It, it did disconnect once or twice and took it a minute to reconnect, so I'll have to do some more testing on it. But as you can see, it did troubleshoot the code that I had for the problem with this car, and so it did work.